you gotta lock in no matter what you're doing but to a certain point i think we misunderstand this term of locking in due to social media and what we really see right we often see how you must lock in meditate journal go for a run do a three-hour workout you know and just meditate even more but i think when we lock in we misunderstand what are we locking in for what are you trying to achieve and this is really come back to the same concept of self-improvement as self-improvement is only one part of what we want to achieve it's only one portion as a kickstarter to get to where we want in life you know so this is something you must understand uh, what do you want to lock in for whether that's losing weight making money finding a relationship whatever it is that you're thinking of this is the term of where you have to lock in and that's the topic we're going to really talk about today is the truth about locking in so we're going to dive more into locking in right this is something that i often never really understood or often i see constantly off of social media and constantly seeing a very repetitive thing as this over and over of just doing the same thing but what i figured out with locking in is is you must do what do you want what do you want to achieve in this life and this can come back to really finding your passion or finding your dreams and aspiration in life, right? If you want to, let's say, for example, you want to lose weight, maybe 10, 20 pounds, right? In the next 90 days, then locking in means going to the gym. Locking in mean eating healthy. Locking in mean going for a run. Whatever you have to do to lose 10 or 20 pounds whatever it is you know that's what locking it is it's not really much as taking cold showers it's not much as really just journaling every day it's not really much of organizing your life no question about it will that really help you yes but it's not going to help you lose 10 or 20 pounds what's going to help you is staying consistent doing what you have to do by doing and showing up but Tying this all back to one thing. Now, how do we find locking in? What, what do we do to really get to this point? Well, there are three Japanese concepts that you should follow, but you must be precise with this. You must understand that this has to go in a orderly fashion. You have to follow this catch 22, what I'm about to tell you. Now, the first one is called Ikigai. Ikigai is a concept, a bliss in what you want to pursue in life something that set your heart on fire whether that's making content whether that's going to the gym and becoming uh filthy rip or whether that's being in the best relationship and finding love or like you know finding your soulmate whatever it is and, I, and trust me finding your soulmate is a very hard thing as it's a very rewarding goal because sometimes we misunderstand of success and goal people often find success in finding and making a family buying a house, having a steady job. That is success toward other people. Other success are making money. Other people are making content. Others are helping others, you know? Whatever it is, you must define your success and not really much of portraying what you see on social media. And I get it, most people's success ideal is making money. So if that's it, then that's good. Now, once you find out this is your Thank you guy once this is what you want to fulfill in life then you must understand how do i get there what do i have to do step by step well i'll be honest with you there is no generally step by step however once you find the idea of what you want in life you must go and try as many ideas as you can and this is the second concept that we're going to tie into is called the kaizen now kaizen is a very important step this is literally the middle of it all this is like the body and without this there's no there's nothing that you can do without it. And I say this because Kaizen is really what makes you stay disciplined, what makes you stay consistent, as it makes you be aware of what you have to do, you know? And it's not really much of motivation, but more of discipline, as this is called the Kaizen Journal. Now, I personally do this. I've been journaling for five years. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the Kaizen Journal, maybe I'll make a separate video about this. But if you want to start the Kaizen Journal, you can check out the link down below in the description and you can start. I literally use Notion as I personally, personally in my experience, I like writing in the journal digitally because it's just for like privacy reasons and so that like my journal don't leak out anywhere like around the house. Um, but yeah, this is a great performance because this is something that you will start to embark on. This is something that will help you figure out what you have to do day by day because at the end of it all, no matter how big or small your dreams are, what matters the most is staying consistent day by day and controlling what you have in today and that is the present. You know, if you try to predict too much of the future, if you try to plan out too much of the future, 
you're going to forget about what you have control of. You're going to forget about what you have to do every single day. You have to get your three wins out. And that is spiritual wins, mental win, and physical win. The spiritual win is really learning something. Really just being gratitude and just figuring out, okay, this is going to work because I can control the way I think. I can control what I eat. I can control what I can consume. The mental win is something that you learn every single day something that you generally try to build a new skill set on whatever it is to help you improve yourself and the third win is the physical win this is really just the health win this is like going to the gym eating healthy going for a quick run now of course you don't really have to do this but it's important to make sure that you're staying fit making sure that you're staying healthy because at most of that it's important to keep building your mindset and keep building your brain as a muscle to learn new things it's also important to have a good physique good body to maintain that because you'll think yourself in the long run now, overall, the last Japanese concept, but one of the most important one, is the Zenful. Now, Zenful is really saying grateful, saying humble, saying gratitude toward what you're trying to achieve. Because this is honestly the heart of it all. Even though it's at the end, this is like the brain and, well, not the brain, the heart of it all. And I say this because if it's not the Zenful, then you're going to forget everything that you're doing. You're going to forget how failure will eat you up. You know, you must understand that failure is going to come on upon you no matter what you're doing. And this is something that you must understand with the Zenful because this will help you utilize Zenful against the failure. As you'll start to make a different thought process, as you start to see it in a different perspective. Okay, like for example, let's say your goal was to lose 20 pounds. Right? We'll, we'll run back that idea in 90 days. However, you didn't lose 20 pounds in 90 days. You lost it in, I don't know, maybe four months or five months and you'll get discouraged. And once the 90 days actually come upon you and you're not really seeing that result, you're starting to see failures. You're starting to see bitterness and how this isn't gonna work. But this is where Zenful come in and saying positive, saying consistent. Now listen, I'm not preaching about no spiritual stuff. I'm not preaching about no manifestation or anything. I'm talking about really the positivity of what you can control of your thought process, of what you can control of changing the perspective of how you see failure and how you see negative feedback and how you see negative thoughts. And this is a crucial part because this is literally the heart of it all. Because without this, you'll lose it all. You'll lose the whole century and what you're trying to achieve. But yeah, this is, in my perspective, the truth of locking in. This is something that we must understand that you shouldn't take this to a stream. By no means do you have to lock in in like 24 7 you know and do absolutely nothing but just grind 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 and yes would this help you yes 100 percent. however you must take it to a certain point if you go into a stream or you cut out all your friends you cut out your whole entire life i'm telling you it's going to be a very lonely path and i know this is a concept another concept where if you want to improve yourself you want to better yourself you have to lock in and isolate yourself with yes ideally however you must do it to a certain point when we have friends when we have family yes they might not be the best for us yes they might not be the people that we want to surround yourself with however sometimes these are the people that you want to have a good time with these are the people that you want to spend time with once in a while as this will help you find joy in life as this will help you just have fun once in a while because it's important to lighten up it's important to just loosen up and just have fun because without having fun in life then if you then it's just like life is very dark and cold and you just take life too seriously which i don't recommend doing that i recommend just have fun you know um and on top of that have fun while you're embarking on your journey have fun when you're locking in because when you do this the journey will be a lot more at ease. The journey will be fun. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. That uh, yeah, that covers like mostly everything I wanted to discuss. But I will see you guys tomorrow. So peace.